Hello everybody and welcome to another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing. This time we're looking at Llama Land, designed by Phil Walker Harding, published by Lookout Games. Uh, art by Clemens Franz. This is a combination that has brought us games like Gingerbread House and uh, Baron Park. So I'm really excited to kind of look inside here and see what this combination of designer and publisher and artist will do yet again. Being a farmer is not exactly easy with the hills and mountains around, yet growing potatoes, corn, and cacao is what you love. And the landscape is wild, stunningly beautiful, and full of llamas! Let's look inside. This box is very dense, by the way. You can't quite tell, but I'm going to reckon that this is full of a lot of punch board. So we got cards. These are the coveted llama cards, I think is what the back of the box called them. But first, this is a bag full of llamas! Llama, llama, llama! I'm going to be the most obnoxious person to play this game with. But look at them! Look at them. Llamas. Llamas in all their glory. Llamas to the left. Llamas to the right. Llamas everywhere. All right. Uh, I will uh, open this pack of cards. Packs of cards. Curse you. Is there a pull tab? There's no pull. Oh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Uh. Well, something's happening here. I'm getting them open. All right. Look at that adorable llama. That adorable drawing of a realized... Llama meeple. So these cards are worth potatoes and points, it appears. You've got to spend potatoes, I reckon, on the top to get points on the bottom or something. It looks like it might be classic Phil Walker Harding, where the first person to do something gets more points out of it or something, you know, compared to the later ones. To do. I don't know. I do not know a whole lot about this game. But the colors are awesome. Look at this. The coloring is great. So uh, getting objectives or something, moving up these cards for points. Clemens Franz's illustration, I gotta say, this does not look like typical Clemens Franz illustration, uh, which is kind of cool. I like the little bordering and stuff. The cards are typical Lookout Games quality. It's the same thing that you'd expect from pretty much uh, any of the other games that they've made. This art style is really, yeah, it's neat. I like it. I like it. So, tons of cards in the game. The fat stack of cards comes with a big old roll of baggies, score pad. Cool. Don't know what any of that looks like or what, uh, what any of that means. And then, oh my gosh, the rest of the game is just punch board. <laughs> no wonder that box weighs so much. So Llama Land. Two to four players, age uh, 10 plus. 30 to 60 minutes. The object of the game uh, is something that... Oh, it, this is from the back of the box. Yeah, keep an eye out for objectives to score and additional points and opponents. Uh, do not be shy about asking the locals for help. In the end, the most successful farmer who scores the most victory points wins. So you got your starting boards, you got extra pieces over there, 33, count them 33, llama figures, and a shepherd's crook. I didn't see that. Maybe that's a punch board piece. So anyway, it uh, looks like you're going to be building tiles out around your board, and you're going to be building them in, in three dimensions. Based on player count, you set a different number of tiles. Um, after extending, if you, you may place one of your markers in an empty objective card of your choice. Okay, so yeah, this is the symbol for points, obviously. So, building. Place the chosen tile on top of your start board or other previously placed land tiles according to the following rules. You can flip, you can rotate, line up. Okay, so it's this polyomino-y type stuff, but also three dimensions. You're stacking them up higher. Different types of fields that you can get and grow. Feeding your llamas after extending or building, you may choose to feed exactly one llama so it may live in your estate. To do so, return four corn, four cacao, or four potatoes. Look, I don't know much about raising llamas, but I don't know if you should be feeding them cacao. You might get them really, really riled up. So you can place llamas out on your board. Character cards. Endgame scoring. Beginner's variant and an expert variant and a llama variant. You can use this llama variant with the base game or the expert variant. When placing a llama figure, you must place on an empty space on the tile that you just placed during this turn. Okay, so you can place them on other ones. So extra variants to make the game uh, you know, playable younger, playable uh, for a little more advanced. Very cool. Well, let's take a look at the punch board because I'm sure that this is what people really want to see. Look at these tiles. Wow, these are very thick. I don't know if you can tell, but they definitely look like double thick 
Uh, here, how do I make the camera focus? That's definitely double thick. So these tiles are going to be very satisfying to... Oh, that's chunky, as the kids say. Chunky, if you will. So you got the different kinds of terrains on here. You got the regular, you know, uh, blank ones or whatever they were called. Here's the shepherd's crook. First player token of power. The shepherd's crook. Woohoo! And you got different shaped ones. You got the U's. You got the T's. You got the... Uh, hey, how does this open up? Whoa, that's kind of weird. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. You got the Z's. You got all sorts of stuff. Hey, extra tokens of the player colors so you can mark objective token, uh, objective cards and whatnot. That's cool. These all open differently. This is kind of tripping me out. This one is what? This one's hamburger style, and this one is hot dog style. My six-year-old just learned what the difference is between hamburger fold and hot dog fold. You got the crosses. You got the pluses. Man, this looks, look at all that corn. Tasty, tasty corn. Here's a player's starter board, you can see, for example, potatoes, cacao. I recently opened up a cacao, actually, for the first time, and that is kind of what they look like on the inside. They're very weird. Weird fruits to try to eat, but delicious to cook stuff with. All right, so that's what comes inside a box of Llama Land. This is the new, as I said, Phil Walker Harding game from Lookout Games, the Llamatastic family game. Looking forward to trying this one out. Thanks for joining us today. Until next time, this is Chris with another Dice Tower daily unboxing video. Have yourselves a great day.